Welcome to our video presentation on ultrasonography in small animals. With respect to diagnostic imaging, our pets now have a wide variety of modalities available to them. This includes conventional x-rays, ultrasonography, closed MR, CT scanning, open MR, and even fluoroscopy. In the images following, we want to compare what you see in an x-ray compared to ultrasound. On the left, an abdomen of a dog with a mass on the spleen, but it's much more clearly evident on the ultrasound images as shown on the right. Heart, you get a still image on a cardiac x-ray. But with ultrasound, we can actually watch the motions within the heart itself. When your pet is ill, your veterinarian really needs reliable information, and this is where the ultrasound comes into play such a critical role. With ultrasound, we get very high resolution images of your pet's different organs. This image here shows the, the high correlation between a mass and the ultrasound image. We can look at organs or tissues in real-time motion and get more characteristic, characteristics of them. We can look at blood flow. We can even measure the flow and the velocities within vessels. This is really critical in heart studies. We're going to present a few examples, either heart disease, foreign bodies, liver, adrenal, pancreas, kidney, prostate, lymphoma, biopsies, it goes on and on. In this patient, he had difficulty urinating, and although the x-rays show clearly he had stones, we could also see them and measure them on the ultrasound. This dog had an eight-week history of vomiting, and his stomach just didn't seem to be able to empty. Closer observation on the video, you can see that there was a thickening at the pylorus, which is a valve that empties the stomach. Surgical correction corrected this very effectively for this patient. This cat was not eating well and losing weight. The ultrasound showed a mass on the liver and biopsies confirmed its presence and gave us option how to treat. This individual had difficulty breathing and on ultrasound exam of the heart, we found a fluid in a pericardial sac that was crushing the heart and not allowing it to function properly. An older dog was vomiting. An ultrasound showed that he actually had a stone blocking his ure ureter to his kidney. He could see how distended it was, not being able to drain properly. Little puppy seizuring. With ultrasound, at by a certain age, we can actually look at the brain and in this particular case evaluated the blood flow through its ventricles. A young cat who wasn't eating, we discovered appendicitis. In this older dog with abdominal pain, an x-ray couldn't clearly give us an answer, but on ultrasound we could clearly see that there was a mass in the left kidney. In pregnancy, Everybody's fun topic. Everybody wants a picture of puppies while they're in the gestational phase. So let's take a look at a few. Here you can see the ribs on a pup and a heart in the middle. And you're gonna see a blow up of it showing the ventricles working. Sometimes we have to use sedation on pets, but this is more for getting clearer objects and images. Here when we do biopsies, which is very important in ultrasound studies, the visualization of blood flow helps us guide our needles into a safe area. Often ultrasound goes hand in hand with biopsies, so your veterinarian will often recommend them. Really, there's no discomfort with ultrasound studies, and to our observations, often the pets actually fall asleep on us while we're scanning them, so there's no pain involved. Thank you for watching our video.